that C-130 they were in was also here recently. Our tenders reporter Matt Boone joins us in the newsroom with what we know about the men on that plane. Matt. Steve, Kimberly, we don't know a ton yet. The press release was just sent out this evening detailing some information about the three men that were killed in that plane crash in Australia. This coming from the company that they worked for based out of Canada that says they do not know quite yet the reason behind it when that plane went down fighting those fires. Paul Hudson served 20 years in the Marine Corps in various roles, including a C-130 pilot. He was living in Arizona with his family, but records show he also lived in San Diego though the Navy has not told us where he'd been stationed. Hudson had been sent to Australia by his company, Colson Aviation, which provides firefighting services around the world. He was operating a C-130 alongside Ian McBeth from Montana and Rick DeMorgan from Florida when it crashed over the mountains in New South Wales. That same plane had been in Ramona last August. Cal Fire is slated to get its own C-130 next year, so they brought in the company Colson to train with. The pilots with Colson are, are uh, bar none, and they really, um, they really were a huge resource to us. Cal Fire's Thomas Schutz says news of the crash reverberated quickly in the firefighting community. Whether it's out in Australia or here in California, it, it really hits home. Australian authorities have not yet released a cause of the crash, but mentioned there was a large fireball when the plane went down. More than 30 people have now died from the fires since September which have scorched more than 25.7 million acres. And to give you some perspective on the conditions right now, this is a graphic that was just tweeted out by the firefighting department in New South Wales showing 73 active bush and grass fires right now. None of these, though, at emergency uh, situations, though they're obviously actively monitoring them, and they do expect that the conditions, at least in that region of Australia, are expected to ease in and cool in the next day or so. In the Live Center, Matt Boone, 10 News.